Hi, this is Mike Passaggio, Director of Marketing and Communications for Cavils. This video will take a look at our newly redesigned Journalytics Academic and Predatory Reports platform. Journalytics Academic and Predatory Reports provides in-depth data and analytics on over 13,000 hand-verified scholarly journals and more than 17,000 predatory journals. It's the complete tool to help researchers discover, verify, and evaluate academic journals. Journalytics Academic provides publication information, submission guidelines, detailed metrics, and historical trends. All the tools needed to verify journal legitimacy, target the perfect journal to maximize the impact of research, or measure the value of faculty and employee research. Our team of trained specialists evaluate each journal selected for inclusion in Journalytics and hand verify the information we report saving time and effort for researchers, librarians, and administrators. So let's take a look. A great place to start is our new guided search page, where users can jumpstart their search with shortcuts to our verified and predatory databases, a selection of our metrics, or head directly to one of 18 academic disciplines. Journalytics is now fully integrated with predatory reports giving users a complete view of the publication landscape for specific areas, with a full rundown of publishing opportunities and risks. In Journalytics, Verified Journal Summaries provide the journal's title and publisher, acceptance rate, publication frequency, and its type of open access model. The summaries also have a heat map showing our CCI, or Cabell's Classification Index metric, which measures a journal's discipline influence, along with a snapshot of additional metrics from our partners, looking at measures of a journal's citation context and online attention. We'll take a closer look at these shortly. Click to expand our journalytics cards to learn more about a journal. Here, we have a bit of a closer look at the journal's metrics, again, measuring the journal's relative discipline influence, its citation support, level of online attention, as well as a look at its access model. Learn more about the journal here with discipline and bibliographic information, sponsorship information, if there is any, as well as ISSN information and contact details, along with a bit more about the journal's mission. We also include helpful links at the bottom left to the journal's contact information, and at the bottom right there is a link directly to the journal's homepage. From here, we can dive deeper for a closer look at a publication. By clicking the Disciplines tab, we can learn more about the journal's CCI, or Discipline Influence Rating, which measures how influential a journal is in each of its disciplines by measuring the citation activity of the journal against other journals publishing in the same discipline, which is a key element of this metric. It's a discipline relative measure, meaning it gauges how a journal performs in terms of citation activity when compared to other journals publishing in each of its disciplines, adding much needed context to the evaluation process. Citation patterns vary across different disciplines, and CCI allows for an apples-to-apples -apples comparison with respect to citation activity. By clicking the Topics tab, we can see a reflection of the journal's discipline influence at the topic level, giving a closer look within a journal's disciplines at specific areas of study. Next, we can take a look at a journal's site index score, which adds context to a journal's citations. We're excited to partner with Cite to provide the site index score based on their smart citations, which use deep learning to provide a context to a publication citations and a classification describing whether it provides supporting or contrasting evidence for the cited claim. Cite measures how supported a journal's articles are. We aggregate the information out to the journal level to give a top-level view of how a journal's articles are used and interpreted by the community that relies on them for a sense of the culture surrounding the publication. We also partner with Digital Science to provide altmetric report scores, which track online mentions of academic research. As with our site index, we aggregate altmetric data to the journal level, a process unique to Cabell's and find a measure of central tendency for the publication to identify which journals tend to output the highest impact into non-academic channels. Altmetric data is useful to track who is saying what where about research from a journal as soon as it is published, without the need to wait for citation activity. 
This is also useful as an indication of the marketing strength of a journal and how well it's targeted to people outside the research sphere. Next, under the Open Access tab, we have information on the journal's access model, its recent publication history, as well as key details on fees, reuse rights, and automation processes, which characterize how this journal operates within the Open Access framework. Moving on, we have information and links on areas like article submission guidelines, any fees, publication timelines, and acceptance rate. This information is provided to us by the publication. Some journals provide more information or have more streamlined and trackable processes than others, so have more data available to us. We include as much information as we have for each publication. To a large extent, what makes a quality journal boils down to the element of peer review. For it to be recognized in the scholarly community as legitimate and impactful, a journal must have a robust peer review system in place. So last but not least, we provide any information we can on the journal's peer review system, including the type of review and number of reviewers, whether they screen for plagiarism, and an idea on the timing for the process. Journal discovery is a crucial part of our process. In the search box, Users can search both journalytics and predatory reports using a journal's title, discipline, topic, or other keyword, or ISSN, which is an effective way to quickly locate and learn more about a particular journal. Click filters next to the search box to display the filtering options, which allow users to filter by discipline or topic, one of our metrics measuring citation activity or online shares and mentions, or the type of open access. Journal search results can also be sorted by several of the data points we provide in ascending or descending order. Moving on to the predatory side of publishing, which is unfortunately an enduring and evolving problem, we'll take a look at predatory reports. Our journal evaluation team have identified over 70 behaviors that indicate deceptive activity and that are used to flag deceitful and potentially exploitative operations. Each entry in predatory reports provides identifying information for the journal as well as a comprehensive report of each behavioral indicator that was uncovered in the publication's evaluation. Minimized journal summary cards list the publisher and title of the journal along with the date of the initial review of the publication. Hover over the violations graphic on the left side of the card for a preview of the categories and severity level of the behaviors our evaluation uncovered. To take a closer look at a publication, click the summary to expand it for more detail. Here, we list identifying information for the journal, including the disciplines the publication aligns itself with, ISSN info if any is available, and the launch date. Predatory journals don't often adhere to publishing in any specific discipline, so predatory reports is unstructured in terms of disciplines and topic categorization, but we include the information for search purposes. Here, we have a summary of this publication's violations, broken down by categories, which are color-coded based on the level of severity, severe, moderate, and minor, and includes the number of violations found within each category. At the bottom right corner of journal cards, we have a link directly to this journal's website, but we do recommend caution if you decide to visit a predatory publication site, as they sometimes contain a variety of malware or tracking software. We also link to the criteria we use to evaluate potentially predatory publications against. Clicking will bring you to the complete current version of our criteria which are reviewed and adjusted as needed as we notice tactics used by predatory operations evolve. Jumping back to our summary for this publication, a user can take a look at a more detailed breakdown of the journal's predatory behaviors by clicking the Violations tab to pull up a complete report of the publication's activity displayed by category or level of severity. Thanks for joining us for a look at the all-new Journalytics Academic and Predatory Reports database. Visit cabels.com for more information or to contact us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.